yes, you might know from our, from the Friday Night Lights show, and she's in a, a new film, 500 Days of Summer, which is in theatres now. Please welcome the lovely Minka Kelly, everybody. Minka Kelly. <laughs> You look lovely. You've got the lovely... That's Kelly Green. It is. Yeah, it's it a is. lovely dress you're wearing. Well, Are you I Irish? Do. I have a little Irish in me. I do, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. your name's Kelly. Yes. Yeah, and, and Minka, that's not so Irish? No, no, my mom just made it up. She just made it up? Yeah. She just made up a name? She just made it up. I, I know. I, I should come up with some sort of interesting story, but... No, 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 no. Up. Here, it would look out of place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're talking about... Well, never mind. Where are you from, then? I was, I was born here, and, um... Here? That's quite an interesting mug. You were born right here? No, no I just, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't help but notice this mug. What, the cup here? Yeah, yes. that's from Albuquerque, that cup oh. right there, Albuquerque <laughs> Rattlesnake Museum. Oh, okay, yes, and I spent eight years of my life in Albuquerque. At the museum? There you go. No, not at the museum. <laughs> Have you been? Have you been to uh, the Albuquerque I Rattlesnake Museum? I have not even heard of the Rattlesnake Museum. No. Then you weren't in Albuquerque. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what were you doing in, in, in Albuquerque then, if you weren't going to see the <laughs> snakes? When you're a kid, you can't really choose where you live. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Well, there's that. Sort of mom's decision as well. What, what Albuquerque was her choice. Was your mom yeah. big on snakes? Did she? Can't say that she was. No. And I wouldn't have chosen that particular town. <laughs> and and your, uh, your, your, uh, your dad is a musician, yes? Yes, he is. What does he do? He plays guitar. In which rock pop group? Uh, he's not in a group anymore. He oh, used to be, yeah. What, what did he used to be in? Uh... Uh, <laughs> he was in a band called Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Oh. What are you doing at? <laughs> really? Very long time ago? Very long time ago, yeah. yeah. Does he play the guitar now? He does. When he watches TV, kind of hangs out, plays. Listen, does he watch TV wearing a, a sort of, um, you know, a, a shirt and shorts with yeah. uh, the guitar on his lap and a cigar? How do you know? I, I think I know him. Ah, amazing. Is your, so your dad's Irish then? No, he's French. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does he understand our, our ways in America? Uh, he does. <laughs> He's American, but he was born in France. Really? Which part of France? Paris. France. Really? Have you been to Paris? Not yet. Really? Really. What the hell is wrong with I you? Know. You spent eight years in Albuquerque, you don't even spend a weekend in France? Albuquerque wasn't my choice. As soon as I had the, the choice, I, I got out of there. I came right wait, 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 wait. You never got out of there. You still haven't been to Paris. You I have know. to go to Paris. Where have you been then? It's, it's definitely Other than Albuquerque, which is a nice town. Um, I just got back from Africa. Africa? Yeah. There, now you're talking. Where yeah. were you in Africa? I was in Ethiopia and Kenya. What were you doing there? I went with a really wonderful organization called the Mocha Club, who shows how you can have such a huge impact on the cost of just a couple of mochas, or $7. Like, for example, you can, uh, with $7, give water to seven Africans. Mm, sorry, I'm a little sorry, nervous. Sorry, do you want to have, have some water? There, yeah, yeah. Seven no, no, don't drink that. There, there, that cup over there. <laughs> You can't drink out of this cup. <laughs> Only Americans drink out of this cup. <laughs> you all right? Are you all right? Do you get nervous on talk shows? I'm this? sorry, I'm a little nervous. Really? I don't know if it's you or the show or the cup. No, I'm so, Look, look, look. <laughs> First of all, let me assure you, <laughs> it, this is not a very important show. No, not at all. I knew that. And, I did and, know that. And your career... <laughs> That's the kind of thing we do here. Yeah, we good. make a fool of the funny foreigner. Yes, That's no, he was, earlier he was calling you very... He said that you've gotten more and more weird. Who, Tony? Yes, and I, I wonder if that... I heard a, about a puppet collection you had. I wonder if that might have had to do with... I don't have a puppet collection. No. I just don't have any friends. <laughs> I'm almost 50 years old. I'm 47 years old. Do you believe it? Well, don't answer wow. this, but yes, 47. <laughs> I know, 47, good lord. That's pretty up there. It, it? is, it's get. You know what? I start, I start going like this with my pants, I'm like this. Okay. And I go... <laughs> and, I'll tell you what else. 
I've started to do this. I, when, I've just noticed when I'm on my own, which is a lot, just me and my puppets. I... <laughs> sometimes when I'm on my own, I do this. Oh, yeah. The old man teeth licking stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know? Definitely over the hill. Sorry if I'm turning you on. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, uh, what's the film about then? Oh, it's, it's really a lovely film. 500 Days of Summer is probably one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. And I have so little to do with that. I, I really have such a small part in the movie. And I'm, I couldn't be more proud to be a part of something so wonderful. It's Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Zoe Deschanel have the most wonderful chemistry I've seen in a very long time. So it's about a chemist? And it's not about a chemist. I'll answer the question. I'll answer the question. Does um, he? Uh, <laughs> does he? Does the chemist create a formula and then? <laughs> yes. And then go nuts. Yes. And wreck the movie joint. About chemistry. <laughs> I think probably he, this is my idea for a film. A chemist goes nuts and wrecks the joint. Oh. Sort of like Nutty Professor. Like no, 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 not like the Nutty no. Professor. No. The original Nutty Professor. No. No. Okay. No. Look, it's my film. I'm sorry. And, uh, <laughs> No, he goes nuts and wrecks the joint, but seriously, in a dramatic way. Not in a funny Eddie Murphy way. No. No, and I kind of, this could be the end. And then, no. the, and then the guys that have to come from the government go, ready the jet. And, and the guy who's the detective trying to find them goes, we're through the looking glass here, people. <laughs> That's what you want in a film. Does anyone in your film say, we're through the looking glass here, people? Then I won't be seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> I will. What's it about? It's a lovely film about love. It's it's sort of it's it is about love. It's it's a sort of backwards romantic comedy. It's not your average romantic comedy. Whereas it's not where the girl is hopelessly in love and looking for Prince Charming. It's the girl who actually doesn't really believe in it until it actually happens to her, and the guy is hopelessly in love with her. It's a documentary then. I'm not. Yeah. Making it sounds lovely. I'm sorry we don't have more time to talk about it. It's lovely to see Minka Kelly, everybody. Please welcome Mila Jovovich, everybody. I'm okay. How, how are you? Are you all right? right? Yeah, that looked quite scary in that film with these uh, men so chasing you. So awesome. So incredible. Every time I see scenes from that movie, I'm so into it. I'm like, yeah, get him. Is it... I just, I love martial arts. So really? It's really fun to make. Did yeah, you... and all like the Kali stick fighting was really crazy because um, I'd never really had so much experience with the weapons training, but yes. on this movie, I got to like flip swords and do Kali sticks. Do you get in a lot of fights? Uh, and <laughs> I mean, are you, are you a hard drinking crazy person that goes nuts and... Uh, yeah? No. No, 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 it's all right. I just think... <laughs> I don't know if I. It's kind of like more of a Scottish thing, no? No, no, like no, no. I know. Crazy Here's, people. You want to see my martial art? <laughs> Run away. <laughs> <laughs> Run away. That's my tactic. No, but you know, it's funny because my choreographer, Mike Smith, who did all the choreography on the film, he said, um, you know, I was asking, I said, really, you know, can I do this kind of stuff? Like, if somebody attacks me, you know, whatever, yeah. can I uh, actually pull some of these maneuvers? And he said, look. Never, ever, ever try any of this on the street, Mila. Please don't try this at home. Because right. anybody comes up to you, you just, like, get Shoot out them. of there, run away. Shoot them. Well, yeah, you just... know. <laughs> yeah, let them do all that. Yes, 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 bang. <laughs> what do you want to do? That's what's wrong with the modern world, man. Well, we don't fight each other enough? No, but the guns, they take all the honor out of fighting. Well, yes, but... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where are, you, where are you from, Mila? I'm originally from the Ukraine. The Kiev. Ukraine, from yeah. Kiev. I've been to... Well, I've been to Russia. I haven't been to the Ukraine. Wow, I've... yeah, I hadn't been back there for 24 years, and I just went back last summer. Really? Yeah. How was it? It's changed a bit, I think, in the last 24 years, hasn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't really remember what it was like because I was five when I left, but yeah. um, it, was, it was incredible to see, I mean, to go back to a place where you were born. 
I mean, it was really amazing. I'd never thought I'd get so emotional, but we like went back to where I was little and stuff. And it was amazing to see like things that I thought were so big back then, like actually everything was Yeah, that's what so I, I've noticed that when I go back to Scotland, mountains are suddenly, <laughs> really, yeah, everything's changed. All of my friends are bald. What the hell's that? What the hell is that? I meet these guys I was at school with. They're bald and fat. They go, hey, how you doing? I'm like, ah, who are you? It's crazy. It's true. It's yeah, yeah. a totally different thing because I saw, like, I, I have a cousin, and, and, and she's, like, you know, 20-something young, beautiful girl. But she went back there, and she has friends that she used to go to school with. But, like, you know, they have two kids now. And yeah, they're, like, yeah. working these serious jobs. Like, one girl's working at the hospital over there. And, you know, it's such a difference. Like, you look at my cousin... And you look at her friends. Do, and do you get do you get a big hero's welcome when you go back to Kiev? Are you like you know? Big, oh, it was did you wonderful. Carry through the streets and... Yeah, it was it was it was really incredible. Of course, like they love me over there. And really? It, it was amazing. Yeah. So uh, what, I got a chance Kiev, to meet the president the, and his I wife. I was going to say the Ukrainian president wasn't he the guy that got poisoned? Yes. What was, he was. that about? What was going on? Um, Can you say? <laughs> well, I was mean, it you? Was it you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's crazy. He survived a lot. I mean, it's totally changed, like, his DNA, so it's it's pretty insane. Yeah, but, but what happened? Too. He was getting poisoned, then he just got better? Didn't they catch the poisoners or something? No, they didn't catch... I mean, they're probably... I'm listen, thinking... This is awful, what I'm about to say, but they said to me, like, probably the guy is dead by now. Who? Oh, the I guy that's doing the him, poisoning? Like, whoever set them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a movie, you know? I mean, it's insane. Oh, you, you, you go to Eastern poison. Europe, it's literally like some crazy thriller, of American thriller. It's like The Born Identity or something, you know? Right. But, like, in real life, happening, you know? It's crazy. Let's, let's go. Road trip, right now. <laughs> Road trip. I think so. I, I, I mean, I've been to Moscow, and it was fantastic. I loved it. Yeah, it's I mean, beautiful. I mean, it's very... Um, it's a very exciting town. It's 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 a very uh, crazy city because you know you can really tell when you walk around the streets that it was built for armies. Yeah. To march down, you know, you yeah. have these huge avenues, this very like socialist sort of architecture, and it's it's tall, big buildings. I know, it's, it's scary. You go to like Milan and Moscow. There's lots of similarities. Places to sit and have cups of tea and like a, uh, <laughs> oh, look at the girls. The, yeah, the yeah, Mussolini yeah. style architecture. Oh right, know, that. Yeah, yeah, so that's no good. Oh, we got we got to take a break. We'll be right. Back with Mila Jovovich, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with the delightful Mila Jovovich. I'm having trouble sorry, saying... Sorry, I'm so sorry. You know, what? I wanted to change my last name when I was little and just starting acting and stuff yeah and my dad is a crazy eastern european barbarian right and he was like you will never be my daughter if you do not have the jovovich name the jovovich name exactly oh i had to i changed mine when i came through ellis island really yeah what was your name before J joey goldstein <laughs> Yeah, I came through Ellis Island, you know, I had a little cap on and I worked my way selling oranges in the east side of New York at the turn of the century. Wow, you look great. Yeah, yeah, I moisturize, you know, so, so uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep up. And I lay off, you know, lactose. Uh, so listen, macrobiotic diet? I, I'm absolutely macrobiotic. I have no idea what that means, but I, I'm all over. Me neither, honestly. What? What? You live in L.A. now then, right? You live, I've you live... lived in L.A. my whole life. Pretty really? much Sherman Oaks, San Diego, Oceanside. San Diego isn't L.A. Well, around L.A. Yeah. Don't say that in San Diego. They go <laughs> back. Ah! <laughs> I like Russian women. No, I always have. I always have. I learned, no, how to say, I learned some Russian when I was there. I learned how to say Oikim Krasiva. Oikim Krasiva, spasiba. Spasiba, yeah. Oikim Krasiva means very beautiful. And, you know what's uh, crazy about Russian, what? though? It's like my friends always get so depressed because they're like, just teach me something simple, like, you know, hi or something. There and you're is like, no oh, simple. yeah, здравствуйте. Oh, no, привет. What? Yeah. You know, and, and you're like, no, 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 I mean, that's hi. Yeah. Everything is like I know, it's, so it's long. long. Yeah, yeah, you know, no. What about uh, for saying okay, you say хорошо, right? Хорошо, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's how I can say, okay, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <it. laughs> that's all I can say. 
That's all, right. all it's you more, need. I think the it's most all people. you need. Yeah. <laughs> but all my favorite, my favorite authors are all Russians as well. Oh, I like I Dostoevsky, uh, Bulgakov. You like Bulgakov? I love Bulgakov. Master and Margarita. That's Amazing. Great book. You know, I always thought that um, Bulgakov reminded me a lot of like Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and I was thinking like Russian and Spanish literature have a lot in common like mm. when you read like the, the the type of analogies they use the Earthy, type of it's yeah it's like sexy, that magical yeah. realism yeah, yeah, yeah. you know which is really cool no, is this I'm like a conversation you're supposed to have on like late night tv <laughs> like about magical realism and like how russian and spanish hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, don't worry about it <laughs> you know five minutes ago i had false teeth on and away get down man it doesn't matter. We just, we do anything we I damn well, please. I thought Prince Charles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Prince Charles. <laughs> ha, I you... love that, the rather late program. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have, have you met him? You must have. Yes, I have. Really? And... He's quite small, isn't he? <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. No, I don't mean that. I mean, you know. I don't, I really do like Russian women. I, you know, but the, I don't mean, I don't mean that. I mean, you know. Uh, he's, he goes again with. I know, I know. But he's short. I mean, that's, he's quite short. Um, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. You know, he was surrounded by a bunch of people, but I said people. hi and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you curtsy to him? No. Good for no, you. No, I didn't. Yeah. Like, what's no. up, man? No. Did you did you high five like, him or slap him in the ass? Signs. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what's up? yeah, yeah. Did you? <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Quite nice. Listen, unless we're totally out of time, you are adorable. Spasiba. Spasiba Bolshoi for being here. PC. <laughs> Prince Charles. Oh, sorry. Mila Yumbovich, everybody. We'll be right back. Are you okay? You got your microphone? I, I don't like go. to get too close or I get into trouble with my restraining order and stuff. Are you, are you, what a lovely frock. Well, thank you. Thank green. you very much. It's very green. It is very, very green. They don't come much greener than that. I know. Green's my favorite color is after it really? black. What's your birthstone? Uh, a ruby. Ruby? So red. Because my birthstone is an emerald. Really? Yeah, yeah. I know all about this. I live in L.A. I, I know about astrology. Give a star sign. Yeah, I have a. Well, I came, when I got here, it was a Pisces, but I had it changed with plastic surgery. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm a Taurus now. So maybe I could like upgrade from a Leo to I don't know. Girl, nobody's a Leo anymore. Really? No. Is that not cool? It's so not cool to be a Leo. You have to be either a Scorpio or a Taurus. Mm. Okay. Maybe I can work on that. Yeah, all right. Did you have a nice time making the X-Men movie? Uh, yes, I did. It was so nice to where see did, all where my did, where people did again. We, uh, we did up in Vancouver, I as we there. did with uh, you know, uh, X-Men 2. Are, uh, you, are you Canadian? I am Canadian. Uh, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Winnipeg. I've been there. Yeah. I, like I, uh, I hear, I hear you're, uh, you're moving your show up there or something. That's That's all right. kind yeah, of yeah. yeah, it was in the, the Winnipeg paper. We were moving the show up there. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very I don't know where they got you. that. I can't afford to move this stuff. <laughs> This, this is rented furniture. I, I love it up in Winnipeg. They've got a restaurant there called Earl's. Earl's. Yes! Do you have a good Yes, I went there like all the time. Uh, it's right near my hotel and I... Uh, you have a hotel? Well, not my hotel. Yeah. Um, the hotel I was staying in because I was uh, just shooting this movie I produced uh, called Blue State. You, you produced a movie in yeah, Winnipeg? Yeah, my, my brother and I produced a movie that I'm wow. in. Wow. Yeah. And, um, and you're in it? I'm in it as How well. How did you get that part? Well, I had a word with the boss. <laughs> It's kind of, I've done strings. that before, I've produced and been in movies, it's great because you can yeah. boss the other actors around you. Okay. I always thought, uh, for some reason I thought you were from New Zealand, I suppose it's probably well, because you, I grew up in New you Zealand. did the piano in well, New Zealand. Well, I grew Zealand. up in New Zealand, my mother's from New Zealand, my oh, So you moved from, yeah, from when Winnipeg? Yeah, when I was four. Yeah. When you were four? Yeah. Oh, right. Well, so technically I think my family moved and took me with me, I wasn't personally. You didn't say, come on kids, we need a change. Yeah, I'm four, I've got to blow this down. <laughs> basically, yeah. So you grew up, is it nice in New Zealand? There are a lot it's, of hobbits and stuff? You know, there are a lot of hobbits, but uh, we got it under control. Um, no, uh, New Zealand, I think, is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. I've and heard that. Everyone seems Peter to Peter Jackson kind of, you know, let the cat out of the bag on that one, though. It's impossible does to it get flights home really, now because everyone knows how beautiful it is. Is that right? Is every, all the, these, uh, you know, the Lord of the Rings stuff, it looks like that? There's, you know, you know what? And, I mean, aside from, like, the characters they created with CGI, all those, like, scenic, scenic you know, 
backdrop things. Those, that's just what New Zealand looks like. Because all the characters live it's in Scotland. Basically, that's really nice. <laughs> I mean, it's basically like growing up in a postcard. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. And did, you made uh, the piano there when yes. you were, what age were you? You nine. must have been nine. Yeah. And you won an Oscar for that. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a lot too soon, isn't it? Did you go um, crazy? Have you been through rehab five times or anything? No. <laughs> no, my, uh, my family's like very sort of normal and New Zealand is not really a culture that sort of like worships the celebrity and makes a big deal out of that as oh, much I as... Oh, I can't go there then. <laughs> not, not that I'm particularly worshipped anywhere else, but... It's just not like, it's not a culture that sort of really, you know, thinks that's like the most important thing and that wasn't like a really big value so in my what, family. What, so. is it like, what is your family like then? What is, what's your family background? Do they know, uh, they I mean, know show business? I my, mean, my parents are school teachers. Um, yeah. Until, you know, recently, my brother worked in finance. Now he's my producing partner, but... Uh, oh, right. Uh, Did he steal money from the financing to make films? No. Well, not steal, you know, not steal. You know, steal. But not steal. <laughs> You know, but no. whatever word you people are using now, I mean... Uh, My brother is a scrupulous man, as, and I'm, uh, you know... Would he's not a film stand. producer. He'll never get anywhere with scruples. You know what? I think we're going to do it our way. I think we're okay. going to, you know, walk, walk the straight and narrow on that one. X-Men 3, that's not a little budget movie, is it? No, that? no, it's not. It's kind of, you know, our gigantic independent movie um, that's, you know, going to be preparing, premiering what, what is your secret power again? My, uh, my, my, my power in X-Men? Um, yeah. When I touch people, I absorb all their powers and life force, and basically they die. Or, you know, get really messed up. I think there's some people like that in the audience tonight. <laughs> they, they have those same, but you could maybe have a little encounter group. Well, you know, I don't know. Do you get, do you get on well with Hugh Jackman with the giant claws? Come on, what's not to love about Hugh? I he's mean, nice he's, guy, he's isn't he? He's just so nice and so professional and charming and sweet and Australian. He's you know? Australian, yeah. which is close to New Zealand. So yeah, they're our neighbours, you know. So. Do you get on well? Because, you know, Canada and America don't go on well at all. You know, I, I think maybe if you follow, like, sports rivalries or something, maybe there's some, I don't know, headbutting of some sort. But I, I, I don't perceive you it don't, that way. What, what is the big sport in New Zealand? Rugby. Rugby? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like, uh, that's just crazy people fighting and someone it's throws like a ball football and It's like football without all the pads and stuff. You yeah, know, they yeah. take off all the armor and... Really... I used to play rugby for my school, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of the game, you drink the, you know, the blood of the opposing team captain out of the skull. You know, I, uh, I, I miss that. Yeah, yeah. well, that's, that's Scottish rugby for you. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to check into that. I don't think rugby's your game. Not yeah. so much. Not with that green dress no, on. Not, not you don't want to be outfit. doing that. No. So when are you going to Cannes, then? We're going on Thursday. Oh, that's rather lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, France, that's south of France. Do, yes. you, do you go on the beaches there with the, uh, the you know, because the, they've got the naked beaches there? Yeah, uh, people who are as white, pasty pale and white as I am yeah. aren't really supposed to go on the beach. I think there's, you know... I'm telling you, I, they, I've seen them, they're all Germans and they're all naked. You know, I, I don't think anyone needs to see, like, that much of me. Like, I think I just look like a giant bounce card. You, um, you should see what the competition's like on these nude beach, beaches. Beaches. <laughs> I said like, beaches. I said beaches. You should see what it's like out there you because know, there's these giant Austrians that take off the leather hosen and just lie there. You going, know, um, that sounds uh, incredibly, uh, you know, catch freeing. Catch it if you can, yeah. Freeing, but I, I think, um, I think I'm gonna stick with, you know, the, my scheduled activities and closed you do that. events. <laughs> Stay with the closed events of Cannes. Yes. They're the ones that all the big stars are at. Yeah. It's lovely to talk with you, and, so and good nice luck at the Cannes Festival, and good luck with your movie when, oh, it, when it's finished. You. Come back and talk to us about it. I would love to. All thank right, you thank so you, much. Anna. Anna Packman, everybody. We'll be right back.